three, we are going to address the learning target. I understand the different types of content that I can add to my site using the right side menu. Our success criteria for this lesson today include, I can add text boxes on my pages. I can add images to my pages. I can add a YouTube video to a page and I can resize and organize my content on my pages. So I'm going to start by walking you through all of the tasks you're going to need to complete to be successful in this lesson. You're first gonna choose one of your pages. I'm just gonna start here on page one. And you're going to start by adding a text box to act as a header on your page. So I'm gonna just come over here uh, on my right-hand menu, make sure I'm on the insert page, and I'm going to click text box. And that's automatically gonna pop one up here. I'm going to add some text to it. And then I'm going to go ahead and highlight that so I can make some changes. I'm going to center it because I like it on the page in the center. I'm going to click on this fonts button. I'm going to change up my font. If you don't have all these fun um, fonts that I do, you can actually click more fonts here and add in different ones. Um, but I'm going to go with this Chelsea Market font. I'm going to make it bigger. So let's go about 30. And then I'm going to change the color to match my page. So now I have a text box at the top that says all about me. But I actually want to add an image to the side, so I'm going to go ahead and shrink that down a little bit. And I'm going to click on images, and I'm going to click select. Now you can upload an image, um, you can select an image, so I'm going to click select. And I am going to do a Google image search, and I am going to look for a beagle dog, because I like beagles. Um, so I'm going to put in a beagle, we'll put this one in, super cute, click insert. Uh, and I'm going to now make that a little smaller. I don't like the way that looks like that, so I'm gonna click this uncrop button here, which is actually gonna make my picture a little more shapely, and then I'm going to drag it over here. Um, I'm also seeing that I can actually make this about me a little bit wider because of the size of my picture, so I'm going to do that. So now I have all about me, and I have my little beagle picture. Please note that you are going to be learning a little bit about Creative License, in, um, Creative Commons licensing on Google. It's really important for you to understand that when it comes to adding published web pictures, pictures to published websites. I'm not publishing this site for you, so I will delete that. It will not be a published site. Um, but if you're using pictures from the internet, you need to make sure that they fall under a Creative Commons license. Okay, back to adding to our page. Um, I resized my text box, so in the image they sit next to each other. I actually think I want to make that image a little bigger, so I'm going to drag this over, make this picture a little bigger, and I don't, actually, I don't think I want to uncrop it. I think I like it just like that. All right, so we have all about me. Now I want to add some text-based content to my page, so I'm going to go ahead and click on text box again. And there's a couple things you can do. I can leave it down here and leave this big amount of white space here, or... I can shrink it a bit and I could drag it up and drop it right under this all about me. I'm gonna go ahead and add in some text here to show you what that would look like. Okay, so you can see I added in my text. I made it a little bit bigger and I decided to center my text. And so now it kind of looks a little bit more visually appealing right there. Now the next thing I want to do is show you how I can add a YouTube video to my page. Um, you can also add videos directly from your Google Drive. So if you're adding, say, a video introduction that you recorded on your phone, you would upload that to your Google Drive and then you can add it to this page. Um, I like to add existing YouTube videos when I can. Uh, you can actually come here and you could just search. So I'm just going to search for beagles. Um, and I'm going to go with this one here, top 10 reasons to get a beagle. And that is going to embed the video on my page. And if I wanted to, I could add a little bit of text next to it, which I'm going to show you how I would do. So I'm again, I'm going to shrink this down. I'm going to bring it over here. And I'm going to say, I agree with everything in this video. And I haven't watched this video, so I don't actually know if I do, if those are the top 10 reasons to own a beagle. But any dog that adorable deserves to have a top 10 reasons as to why uh, you should own one. So I'm gonna put this on here, I'm gonna center it. Let's make it a little italicized. Um, and then let's see, let's make it a little bit bigger. There we go, okay. So now I've got my YouTube video and I agree with everything on this video. Now you can move things around as you want. You can add in some dividers. So I'm gonna add a divider 
and I'm going to drag it up so you can see that there's a divider here. And I'm going to add another one and I'm going to drag that one down to the bottom so I have a divider between each part. Um, I like the way this page looks, but you can certainly move things around. If you want to see what your page looks like, you can always click on this preview button. And that's actually going to show you what your page would look like to someone if they were looking at it once you publish it. Um, you can look at it, what it would look like if somebody were using an iPad or a tablet to look at it. And then you can also see what it would look like if somebody looked at it on a cell phone. Um, so you can view your page and then you can also click this exit preview button to bring you back to where you're going to edit your page. Now it's your turn. First, you're going to add a text box to act as a header on your page. You're going to add an image to go alongside your text box. You're going to resize the text box and image to sit side by side, add text-based content to your page, add a YouTube video to your page that you can always delete later, and organize your page to look visually appealing to the eye. Just choose one of your pages to work on this for now.